President Biden is preparing for a very busy day today in San Francisco. KTVU's Amanda Quintana is at San Francisco's Fairmont Hotel where the president is staying and you have some details of his schedule. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Dave. It's a pretty short stop here in San Francisco for the president. He arrived here at the Fairmont last night around 8 o'clock, but then he heads to Phoenix, and that's at 6.30 tonight. So it is a quick stop, but it could mean a lot of money for his campaign. He has a busy day this morning. He has a meeting scheduled with his Council of Advisors on Science and Technology. They help develop recommendations on policy surrounding tech and innovation. Then the president has two campaign fundraising receptions. That's this afternoon. He also had a fundraiser in Atherton before coming here to the city last night. Tickets to that fundraiser range from $5,000 to $100,000. I think it's great, and I, we have a lot of people who are very generous in this area. Certainly, the San Francisco Bay Area, Silicon Valley, one of the most progressive um, uh, areas in the country. We have a lot of deep-pocketed donors here. You throw in Hollywood on top of that, and, you know, California is a very attractive place um, to come and uh, schmooze and raise those campaign dollars. This is Biden's second time here in the Bay Area in just three months. He arrived at Moffett Fields yesterday, greeted by Santa Clara County Board President Susan Ellenberg and the Deputy Director of the NASA Ames Research Center, Dr. David Korsmeyer. Now, if you are planning on coming anywhere here around the Fairmont, you should be aware that it is blocked off about two blocks in each direction. There's a large police presence here, so it is going to be difficult. You're going to have to go around here. Also, if you're headed towards SFO, you might see the motorcade on its way for his flight at 6.30 tonight, but that could also cause some traffic backups if you're going to be in that area as well. Live in San Francisco, Amanda Quintana, KTVU, Fox 2 News.